Hey everyone, there is a new update for the SuperNote version 2.7.22. It's got two very exciting new features in it. The first one being we finally now have support for linking to Google Drive as your preferred syncing source. This is something I've wanted for a long time and I'm excited to take it for a spin. But the first feature I wanna show you is the new screen mirroring feature. Again, another feature that we've asked for for a long time and probably in my opinion, the biggest omission from the SuperNote up to this point. And it's really well implemented. So let me show you exactly how it works. So if we go to top down view, you can see my SuperNote. And if I just pull down from the top, there's this new screen mirroring option here. And if I tap that on, screen mirroring will now be turned on for this device. And it broadcasts on your local network. And then any computer that can access that address can then view it from within the browser. So this is really, really handy. So let's switch over to my main screen. I go to that IP address and load it up. Sorry, I do need to refresh. Now I can see exactly what's going on in my SuperNote. And this is really, really handy because you can effectively bookmark this page and then at any point just tap that on and go to your browser, which you're probably already gonna be in just naturally. At least that's how I use my computer is my browser is open most of the time. And now I've got a screen share going, so I don't have to open a special app. I can load an app I already have and then just jump to it really quickly. And as far as I can tell, you can just leave screen mirroring on. I'm not really sure yet what that's gonna do to battery life, but presumably it won't be too bad. Let's write, yeah, the latency is not bad. Let me go ahead and do an erase. Yeah, let me see, can I? give you a side by side. So I've got my overhead camera here now and you'll be able to see both my screen and uh, my super notes. So let me just write my name. And you'll see that it's pretty darn instant. This is definitely good enough for something like Zoom. Let's go check out the highlighter. Okay, oh, hold on. All right, no, it works, it just takes a second. That's interesting, there's no opacity until it's applied. Um, it will eventually be right, but uh, it looks a little bizarre um, in the meantime. So like on the super note, if you pay attention, they have like overprinting going on here, but in the screen share they don't. So hopefully that'll be something that they'll iron out. I don't think it's the end of the world, but just something to be aware of. And then let's just check a different pen just to make sure there's not anything weird with specific colors. Okay, and yeah, the, the two actually match up pretty well here. So anyway, that is the new screen sharing feature. Uh, the other major feature is new Google Drive syncing. And so this one may be a little bit tricky to demonstrate, and I, and I haven't gotten this to work yet, so bear with me if this takes a minute. So the default is to use the SuperNote Cloud. Let me just go to straight overhead again. And we can then switch over to Google Drive and authorize. So it says, hey, scan this on your phone. We'll pull that up over here. I'm gonna do this off screen just so uh, you don't need my Google information. And I'm gonna log in as me. It says, hey, do you trust SuperNote? Yeah, I trust SuperNote. All right, the authorization is complete on Drive. I get notified that that happened. And now what's interesting is now I have the ability to select folders. And this is where I've run into some trouble. Let me pull up my Google Drive. So nothing's changed in my Google Drive just yet. Let's see what happens when I hit select folders. And so it, it thinks it's loading this up. This is where I've gotten a bit stuck in the past. So I guess one thing to note is this is a beta. This is not a public release yet. So it's not completely crazy that Google Drive integration has some rough edges. 
I also have a ton of information in Google Drive. I've got 180 gigs of Google Drive data, so it may just be that there's some wrinkle with having too much storage on here. But uh, let me know down in the comments if you've been able to get the Google Drive syncing working. And also, what are your thoughts on screen mirroring in general? Like I said in the beginning of the video, this was probably the biggest thing that I found was missing in Supernote before because a big part of my use case is sketching out ideas and talking about them over something like Zoom with my team to get more feedback. So I'm really excited about the new screen sharing feature within Supernote. Um, the new Google Drive syncing, I'm also equally excited about, but I've unfortunately not been able to get it to work for me just yet. Um, note that this is beta. This is not public release yet, so the fact that it's not working is not completely crazy. Thank you so much for watching. Do subscribe for more e-ink content like this in the future. And if you'd like to chat further, come check out the Knowledge Workers Discord. We've got me and a bunch of other people talking about productivity and e-ink tablets and things of that nature. And we'd love to have you there as well. If you liked this video, you'd probably also be interested in my Supernote A5X review. I'll have that linked over here on the side. Thank you so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video.